We've brought the half IBC tote back into the greenhouse now, and now we're gonna get ready to build the actual gardens themselves. So there's a few steps that we have to think about before we go about doing that. Number one is we have to take off this little tab from the valve. I'm just gonna cut that off so that the valve can go back and forth. Number two, we wanna remove this cap right here. And underneath the cap, there's a little bit of tin foil. So I'm just gonna take my X-Acto knife and pull off that foil. Okay. What you'll notice is that we have a threaded fitting right here and it actually fits an inch and a half PVC SCAD 40 female threaded NPT to sweat or glue on the other side. And so we can actually thread that right on there. But what I've noticed with these threads on these tanks is that they're not super high quality. And so in order to compensate for that lack of quality on the threading, I don't want my valve leaking down here because the threads are not super. And so one way to get around that is just to put a little bit of silicone on the inside of your fitting. So I'm a really big fan of these uh, small silicone tubes. You pay a little bit more for them, but what's nice about it is for small jobs, you don't have to throw an entire tube of silicone away afterwards. And so I'll just use a little bit for this job and then I can put the lid back on and it'll be great in a year from now. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of silicone on the threads on the inside. This will make it really hard to remove down the road, so just keep that in mind. Uh, if you don't want this to be permanent, then you may not wanna do this. Okay, now that I've got silicone on the inside, I'm gonna thread that on the fitting. Okay, and we're going to open this up because we want it to be open. This right here is going to act as our uh, overflow for the wicking bed. I used to use these on my wicking beds as the overflow and the fill port, but I have a slightly different design for the fill port now. Next, and I don't glue any of this stuff, if we do find that this leaks down the road, I can always take this off and add some more silicone to it, but generally this is not the piece that leaks. We're going to add on an elbow. And then the last thing that we're going to do is add a small inch and a half nipple. But I'm going to save that part until we filled the bed with gravel. This is a really important part of the construction of the wicking bed. This nipple that sticks out right here is going to ensure that the bed does not turn into a bathtub. And it'll make more sense once we start filling the gravel up and you'll see exactly how it works. And then we'll fill it up and I'll show you how this thing actually overflows and prevents the bed from overflowing. We're going to put the bulkhead fittings in right now. And it's actually best to drill the hole from the inside because there's a little bit of a nub here. And if you don't get the hole just in the right place, then you won't be able to get the bulkhead fitting to seal properly. And we want to make sure we put that gasket on the inside. And so we have to have a very, uh, we have to have a flush connection from the inside of the gasket, basically against the actual plastic to prevent this thing from, from, um, from leaking. So I'm just going to dry fit it right now and I'm going to drill my hole. All right, so we're ready to install the bulkhead fitting now. I'm gonna put a, a daub of silicone all the way around this gasket, just to make sure that we get no leaks. I'm doing this out of experience. I've installed these before and they've leaked afterwards and it's a real pain in the butt. So I don't want any leaks happening with this bulkhead fitting. If your bulkhead fitting does leak, you actually have to take the whole thing apart again. And it's not fun.
with the silicone there, I don't need to go too tight on that now. It'll dry overnight and there will be no leaks coming out of this. <clears throat> we also want to set up the overflow just like we did on the last one. set the overflow once we've got the gravel in. I suspect that's going to be pretty close because our bulkhead fitting is a little bit higher than the valve was on the other side. And then on the inside I'm, I do something a little bit different on this side. Um, if you come over here I'll show you. I put an elbow and a nipple on this side and we're going to connect that into the weeping tile which is going to go all the way around. Okay, I've cut the weeping tile and I'm going to put the weeping tile end right there on the pipe so that they communicate. I'm going to push this down into the bed and I'm going to attach the fill pipe to the side of the garden bed so that when we're filling it up it doesn't move around. So this is going to be where we put our hose. I'm going to attach it with some zap straps. Alright, now the bed's ready for filling. <laughs>